my dear viewers my greetings and also my wishes to each and every one of you who are listening and viewing my video that is jacinta spoken english channel so go through the videos very often again and again and try to form sentences according to your own situations so uh, coming to the second part we will start with the third person pronouns now first we have already seen i we and you now we will have it as he she it and they no he she it in lower classes we have studied in the grammar he she it they are called as a third person so first person is i and we and second person is you both for singular and plural and in third person we have he she it and they also they is for plural and these are all for singular so he she it means he can be anybody anybody bala bamu oh shila mala kala lakshmi uh, judith vinod anything no so we can uh, that it can be he she can be according to the gender he is for masculine gender and she is for feminine gender so my neighbor is mr ramu he is a good artist so we say he when do we use that when we start with a name maybe and again if we want to say about him about the same person we use he i went to a very popular doctor he is a very good gentleman he is a devoted person he is he works with commitment and involvement we say he is a, doctors are usually working with devotion and dedication for their profession so when we talk about a single person we say he and we, when we talk generally about many people we can say they lawyer's profession is a noble profession if we use it well no so there are many professors living in our nearby uh, colony they are always hard working they are seen with a bright smile they are seen as intelligent people and many students they are of them maybe the present students or maybe the former students or when they see their professors they always wish them they bow to them they show their respect and reverence to the to their professors so in that way they is used for plural he is for masculine she is for feminine and it is for cat dog monkey tiger tiger is a ferocious animal it looks majestic Uh, we have the lion as the king of the forest it always enjoys eating the flesh of the other small little animals i have a pet dog at home it always runs after me it is awake during the day night time and it uh, sleeps only during the day time like this it can be used for anything no? even for a small little ant there are ants crawling here uh, one small little ant came near me it was about to uh, bite my uh, leg uh, feet i i just escaped from it even for a small little ant or for a big animal lion and elephant and tiger we can use it and when it is plural for everything together we use they no then for he uh, be form can he and she and it when a, we can use is when it is present tense he is a, a popular writer he writes well he is always seen with his books he is uh, visiting the library the town library very often so in that way he is is used for present tense she is a melodious singer she is an elegant dancer she dances beautifully and also in a very attractive way she dresses and she creates a good impression upon the others whomever she meets 
So in that way, he and she is, is used and he and she is third person singular. We have already seen it. Third person singular present tense will always take an S. Present tense. That's what we say. She comes home regularly at uh, 5 p.m. in the evening. He wakes up every day at 6 a.m. So like that, for uh, third person singular, present tense, we use that. My cook is uh, absent today. She is very sick today. She can't do any work today. So in that way, we can use he, she and it. All, I already said about our cat or pet cat, or pet animals, even um, love birds many people have at home. And we can say they, the love birds are twittering. They are making a very attractive noise. And people are very much attracted towards them. So when it is uh, subject in a sentence, we say they. When it is object, we use them. I love them. I love the little cats and the kitten. So we say love them. When it is an object. So the, all these are used in our day to day life. In our day to day conversation. We, all, we can also say has. He has a um, very beautiful suit. He puts on his uh, new coat whenever he goes to the office. So he has, we can say, he has a costly car, he has a palatial building, he has a very good estate, rubber estate he has, and he has a big group of laborers in his office, a large group of laborers. We say only large group of laborers. He has, she also same, has. Then it also we can say has. It has a long tail. It has a beautiful fur on its skin. So has we can say and for they we all, always use have. They have a, a beautiful cat with them. They have a sincere and grateful dog to watch their house. So in that way you we use and we can also say with continuous sentence she he is singing well she is dancing beautifully it is walking softly it is moving gently like that we can say with continuous tense also we have the b form plus verb plus ing when it is past tense we use was same was plus verb plus ing. We can we tell our friends, you know, yesterday what happened in at home? It was getting very late. My son didn't come home at all. I was waiting for the, for him to arrive. He was coming very leisurely. He was coming home very leisurely with his friends after ten o'clock. He was enjoying the ride, and he was also talking about his get together with his friends. So, was plus verb plus ing. They also we can say are plus verb plus ing. Where also we can say they are walking happily. They are having their dinner with full enjoyment. They were enjoying yesterday very well. But today they are not very happy. Today they are not very happy. Yesterday they were very happily enjoying the dinner. But today not tasty, I think they are not very satisfied, they are not very happy. So in that way, we can always have the subjects coordination with the verbs and we have to think about it whether past tense or present tense or singular or plural and um, fix them, all the auxiliary verbs, B forms and all. If we understand the rules which we had been studying in the lower classes, just give a brush up the memory and we will be able to do correctly in our spoken language and we can always enjoy being a person with a good spoken English. And that is the pride and honor we enjoy in the society. So let us have the, this video again and again. Let us go through it again and again and please subscribe and also 
share with your friends let us all together make our english better and the best also bye for today